Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by an English poet named Alice Maynell. She lived from 1847 to 1922. She was a writer and a critic and also a suffragist, though now she is primarily remembered as a poet. Um, many people, it seems like, don't remember her um, that well. I don't know that she was... Um, widely known. Um, all of her work, uh, I, I read on, on Wikipedia, actually, that her work was praised widely or warmly rather by, by Ruskin, and that he particularly was fond of a sonnet or two that she wrote. From what I can tell, it seems like um, her, her life and her reputation during her life was tied primarily to her work as a suffragist and as an editor for a number of uh, journals and magazines and, and newspapers and things like that. And the poem that I'm going to read today is called The Rainy Summer. And it goes like this. There's much afoot in heaven and earth this year. The winds hunt up the sun, hunt up the moon, trouble the dubious dawn, hasten the drear height of a threatening noon. No breath of boughs, no breath of leaves, of fronds may linger or grow warm. The trees are loud. The forest rooted tosses in her bonds and strains against the cloud. No sense may pause within the garden fold. The rifled flowers are cold as ocean shells. Bees, humming in the storm, carry their cold, wild honey to cold cells. I love this poem for the, for the way that it is so sensory, I suppose. Um, but not just in, in the sense <laughs> that it, uh, it appeals to what we might see or even though we might smell. But there's this, uh, this real attention to sound, to what we hear. I was just speaking to a poet named Morris Manning, who you've heard from on this podcast before, and he was telling about how, for him, it's so important to pay attention to sound, that the poet needs to be in tune with what he hears and then what those sounds um, can become in verse. There's that line, for example, in this poem, that the trees are loud. The forest, rooted, tosses in her bonds and strains against the cloud. That's such a vivid image. Um, and not just because, um, you know, the, the second part of that, the forest tosses in her bonds, is a great image in and of itself, right? But the way we experience that image in the poem is set up by the line or the phrase, the trees are loud. It's so brilliant because we can see in our imagination this idea of you know trees pulling against their bonds, a forest against its bonds, being trapped like a, like a creature who's trying to get out of some bonds. But that little phrase, the trees are loud, changes that image for us. It adds that extra sensory dimension where we then start hearing the, the trees grimacing as they're trying to get out from the bonds or, or however they're tied down. Um, they're, they're, maybe they're angry and then maybe they're sad and then maybe they're uh, the depressed, like it, the, the sound, the sound element of that makes that image so much more well vivid, I suppose, although that's the wrong word given, the, given what I'm talking about here. And that's the kind of thing that, that I think makes um, a poem like this great and worth remembering. And, and uh, also, I think this is a great poem to memorize, especially for, for kids. Maybe, a, maybe it's not the most um, bright and cheery summer poem, but we all know, uh, what, you know the impact of a summer thunderstorm, um, especially when there's a stream of them, you know, a, a number of days in a row where we have a summer thunderstorm or, or a lot of rain. Um, and it does feel like um, it changes everything. Sure, it cools things down, um, but the, the wind does feel as if it's becoming a menace or like it's hunting, hunting the sun, hunting the moon. And, and the, the things that we traditionally think of in the summer kind of fade away for a little while. Um, which that's not always a bad thing. It's, that's the point of the seasons, right? Uh, but this poem really gets at that. And, and that one little phrase, the trees are loud, can, can open up an image really brilliantly. So once again, here is Alice Maynell's The Rainy Summer. There's much afoot in heaven and earth this year. The winds hunt up the sun, hunt up the moon. Trouble the dubious dawn, hasten the drear height of a threatening noon. No breath of boughs, no breath of leaves, of fronds may linger or grow warm. The trees are loud. The forest rooted tosses in her bonds and strains against the cloud. No sense may pause within the garden fold. The rifled flowers are cold as ocean shells. Bees humming in the storm carry their cold, wild honey to cold cells. 
This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.